Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Mandy Noel. The announcement that the GM Lordstown plant will be idled in March came Monday. Since then, there have been pleas to GM CEO and President Trump to keep it open. Today, outside the plant, another plea was made, this time to God. A prayer service included thanks for all the plant has done and prayers that somehow it can stay open. Praying for Lordstown, our top story tonight. After the loan shift ended at 3 p.m., some of the General Motors Lordstown workers gathered around the flagpoles out front, 200 people bowing their heads. I pray that you open hearts and minds today. UAW Local 1112 Chaplain Norm Perry led the prayer service, but it was the idea of Union President Dave Green. We were planning on doing this anyway before even the, the announcement on Monday, um, so it made it a little bit more special. But Dave Green called me. Normally, you would think the chaplain would call him. For this town, this village is your namesake, Lordstown. Retired Lordstown worker Conrad Smith prayed for CEO Mary Barra and other GM executives in charge, all the while reminding everyone that God is really in charge. At one point, 18-year Lordstown veteran Michelle Ripple of Hubbard had to wipe tears from her eyes. Yes, I was very emotional. It's just keeping my fingers and praying that we can keep the plant going. Give us this day our daily bread. As everyone joined in on the Lord's Prayer, Dave Green grasped the hands next to him, bowing his head. Perhaps one of the few times this week he's had a chance to block the future from his mind. God bless America. The service concluded with an a cappella rendition of God Bless America, after which nothing had changed, except that maybe some people were feeling a little more at peace. God is still in charge, and if we humble ourselves before him, and pray. Our prayers, you know, were very powerful. Dave Green also said he's getting up at 4 a.m. and along with the shop chairman, Dan Morgan, they're driving to Detroit for an early morning meeting with the top officials of the United Auto Workers Union. Green wouldn't get into specifics about the meeting, but he said he has specific questions. And though he may not get answers tomorrow, he hopes to get them soon.